Hello friends, I am Chevy. Welcome to my shed. How are you today? How's life in your world? How's things where you are? I hope it's fantastic and wonderful. Thunderstorm outside right now. Hopefully this doesn't interrupt uh, our talk today. But I think I told you last week, uh, well I know I did, <laughs> I got accused of clickbait uh, that M was leaving me. So M has been gone all week. And um, when I'm alone, things are very different here. And I thought we could talk about that because... I haven't been alone for most of my life. You know, I went from living with my parents to joining the Marine Corps. And when I had roommates, always, 100% of the time, I got out of the Marine Corps. I stayed with my parents for a year before I got an apartment. I got my apartment, and like a couple weeks later, <coughs> I started hanging out uh, with my ex. And then she moved in. And then we lived together for 14 years. 13 years, uh, 14 years, we lived together for 14 years, and then she moved out, and I was alone, she took the kids, and I was alone for like a while, and I look back at that time a little bit, I, I don't remember a lot of it, right, I think there was still a lot of grief in my life. That year was really rough, and when I got done with work and I came home, I really just sat. Like, I literally just sat. I didn't have uh, video games. I mean, I did. Uh, I played some. I didn't have... Um, I couldn't afford much. Uh, I was in a serious amount of debt and trouble, so I had... I didn't have cable. I didn't have... Uh, I didn't have much, so I just sat, and I didn't do a lot. And the only reason that I... I don't want to say the only reason I had, Hi hyperbolically, my dog was my reason to be here. My dog was my reason to just get up and go every day, right? I came home to him every day, and he was happy to see me. Um, and then, like, a year goes by, and M starts really being a part of my life and starts spending a lot of time here, probably another eight months after that, she started to kind of stay here on a pretty regular basis, like pretty full-time basis. And then, you know, last year she officially moved it. Like she, this is her house. And, um, there have been times through that, that I've been alone, but, um, nothing, usually not an extended period of time. She left uh, and went to Mexico in 2018, and I was alone for a week, and I had to kind of figure out who I was at that point in time. And there have been other times where she will go for the weekend to her parents' house, and I'm here by myself. But this is a pretty long stretch. Now, all that being said, I had the kids last weekend. Uh, I saw Monster on Tuesday for soccer. Had the kids last night, saw Monster tonight, today for soccer, dropping her off for soccer. Uh, so I haven't been alone, but there's a shift for me. When M is here, I want to spend time with M. That is my favorite thing to do, is spend time with M. And sometimes we play games, sometimes we play video games, sometimes we watch something. I cook her dinner, I, you know, I, I, I do, we do a lot together. Um, sometimes we just sit on the couch together and do our own things. I read a book, she... Uh, you know, play something on her phone or plays a video game or whatever. Um, but it, I'm not alone. And I feel right when, it, when we're together. I feel like that's the correct thing, right? But when she's not here, there's this the weird shift that happens where suddenly I feel like there's all of these things that need to get done. I'm working on the room project, right? I was hoping to get a whole lot of it done this week. I haven't really. I've gotten work done. I have I have uh, cleaned out a lot of the garbage that was in there. I've torn down the rest of the insulation. I've back I, so I could put it out for the trash last night. Uh, I, but I need to put up the insulation. I need to move some wiring. Um, but those are kind of projects that I don't really enjoy doing in the evening. Uh, when I start a project, I want to start it and finish it. So when it comes time to move that light, I, it's probably going. 
I'm thinking it's going to take an hour. It's probably going to be more like three. And I don't want to do that. I get off of work and I spend three hours doing that and getting frustrated before dinner or before doing the show. And so my evenings, I don't really like to take on bigger projects. I will take on smaller projects, and I have. I've done a few smaller projects around the house. I've done uh, some cleaning and, and, you know, that sort of thing. But when M's not here, I don't really cook. Uh, I, I, I cook bachelor-type foods. I, this week, I've eaten a lot of hot dogs. Um, I've eaten... Um, I had pizza today that I don't normally get to have because I'm lactose intolerant, and it's pizza that nobody else likes. But it's my favorite pizza in Fairmont, so I went and got some pizza today. I had a pot of rice and uh, red beans and rice on Tuesday, and I ate that for lunch and dinner. Like, I cook things that don't require effort because I, when I, and, it, and it, it means that when I get done with work and I don't have anything to cook and I don't have anything necessarily that I have to get done, I, I get kind of antsy. Like, I, something needs to happen. I need to get up and do something. And I don't feel that way when Emma's here. I don't feel like there's a need, a pressure on me. But when she's not here, I feel like there's some sort of pressure telling me I have to get things done so that when she comes back, she's proud of me. Or I have to get things done so that when she comes back, she's not disappointed. I think that's the actual feeling. I don't want to be a disappointment. Uh, not necessarily I want to be praised. It's that I don't want to be scolded, right? And um, I've I, left to my own devices, I think that's my natural state, is I don't want to be a disappointment to anybody. Uh, and so a lot of the time, that's my reason for doing anything, is just because I don't want to disappoint. Uh it's a very weird thing to reflect on, and I've done a little bit of that, you know. Uh, I have watched movies this week. I don't ever watch movies. When M's not here, when M is here, I don't like to watch stuff because she's coming in and, and, and we're interacting in our lives, and I don't want to pause things or I don't want to tell her that we can't have this conversation right now because I, uh, I want to watch this movie or whatever. So I just don't watch stuff. But when she's not here, I end up watching stuff. Do I watch it? I, I, I have a very hard time paying attention to it. I have a... I watched a couple of movies this week, and maybe we'll talk about movies tomorrow if you want to hear what I've been watching this week. Uh, I watched some movies that were really kind of d not quite right, and I didn't pay a whole lot of attention to them because I felt disconnected from them, but they were on, and I don't normally do that sort of thing. So it, it, there's some sort of shift that happens, uh, and, and, I, and I don't think it's just me. I think it's a lot of people. Are, they be, become somebody different when you're alone. And when you're alone for an extended period, it becomes compounded. It becomes something that's like, okay, what next? Like, what do I do now? There's nobody depending on me. There's nobody asking me for anything. There's nobody that wants to spend time with me. It's me spending time with myself. And what do I do with that? I don't know. I'm not, I'm not very good at figuring that out right now. So I just kind of wanted to share. I, I don't know if... Um, I, I've never really been alone, you know? Kind of a weird feeling. I don't know. I don't know if I have anything else to, cook, to add to that. So we'll just end it there. Thank you for being here as always. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing, being amazing friends and wonderful people. I really appreciate you. And I'll see you again tomorrow. Today's word you should know to sound smart is galvanize. It is a verb meaning to propel someone or something into sudden activity. The unveiling of a new yacht quickly galvanized the regatta. Galvanize, G-A-L-V-A-N-I-Z-E. Now, to me, galvanize means to uh, coat with zinc, because galvanization is a way that we protect metals from corrosion with zinc. I didn't make that clear. <laughs>